Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. Um, let me back up for a second so you guys, not for a second. Um, let me back up so you guys can see me. guys um my sermon today is called the divine symphony um it's funny because i did this sermon under a totally different title i was all done the sermon and it and it And it turned out that it didn't record. So I did all that work before and now I have to record it again. But, but cause you see, when you don't listen to God, his will is, is finite. His will is infinite. And if you think you know better, you don't. Uh, he clearly said to me, do it after lunch. Um, cause I come home from church and I have my lunch and everything's cool. And he clearly said to me, sometimes he'll say, uh, sometimes he'll, he'll let me do it before lunch. Um, but this morning, um, today he said, do it after lunch. Get your scriptures ready, get your everything ready and do it after lunch. Um... But I didn't listen, so I put in all that we're preaching and um, putting what I thought was a great sermon on cross, and then it didn't end up recording. Um, so I'm doing it again. I'm ch changing the name from. Um, a change of song to the Divine Symphony. So what's going to happen is I'm going to read uh, two scriptures and then I'm going to um, play a, a clip of someone um, else's sermon um, not all the sermon, but just the part that relates to this sermon. Um, so yeah, let's pray. Father, I bless you and I praise you and I, and I give you all of me for this moment. And Lord, I'm sorry about before. I'm sorry about disobeying you. I'm sorry about missing the mark and doing things my own way, but as you always say, that your way is the better way. Um, there's a way that seems right to a man, but at the end is judgment. Father, um, cause me to have a more listening heart. Cause me have, to have a heart that hears you and obeys you every time. In the name of Jesus, permeate my, my spirit, permeate my words with your love, heal, restore, deliver in this moment, do what only you can do in this moment. I trust you and I bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, okay, I'm going to read two scriptures. So, in order to read those scriptures, I have to come really close to the computer. So, my face is going to come really close to the computer for a second. And then, um, and then I'm going to... Um, 
read the scriptures. I have made you too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me. I have believed in a lie that you were unable to help me. But now, oh Lord, I see my love. Mm -hmm. And show yourself strong in my eyes and with my song. Be magnified, oh Lord. Be magnified, be magnified, oh Lord, you are highly exalted, and there is nothing you can't do. Lord in this moment. This moment is not about me. This moment is not about views. This moment is not about getting a sermon done within a certain period of time. This moment is all about you. We surrender to your will. We surrender to your way. We surrender. We say yes. We say yes. Lord, yes, to your will and to your way, we say yes, Lord, yes, we will trust you and obey, when your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I agree, and our answer will be yes. Lord, yes. My soul says yes, 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 oh yes, to your will. My soul says yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes to your will. We say yes, Lord, 
to your will and to your way, God. We glorify you, God. We honor you. We worship you. We give you praise, God. Saturate the atmosphere in this moment, God. Saturate everybody watching online, God. Saturate us, God. Saturate us, God. Create a new song in our hearts, God. Create a new song in our lives, God. Let the song of depression turn into a song of gladness, God. Do the divine exchange, God. Exchange our, our weakness for strength, God. Exchange our downcast heads for joy, God. We receive your joy today, God. We receive your joy. We will receive your forgiveness, God. We praise you, God. Saturate each atmosphere, God. Saturate our homes, God. We receive your love, God. We receive your love, God. We receive your love, God, and we receive the change of song. We receive the divine symphony. We receive the divine symphony. You, we know you're working it all out in our favor, God. We know you're working it out in our favor, God. We receive your joy. We receive your peace. We receive your strength. We worship you, God. You are God and you deserve to be praised, God. We honor you. We honor you right now. Lord, 
atmosphere you are shifting this atmosphere God you are healing restoring delivering in this atmosphere God you are healing and restoring right now every heart every mind every spirit God that is watching this video you are healing and restoring right now God Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Your healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. We worship you, God. We honor you, God. We come back to your heart, God. We come back to your heart, God. My agenda for this sermon is out of the way, God. It's yours. It's yours. Take it and do what you want, God. Change the atmosphere, God. Change what, God? Let's God change situations, God. Restore marriages. Restore lives. Restore people, God. Restore your people, God. Your people are crying out for you, God. Your people are crying out for you, God. I worship you. I worship you. You are to be praised, God. I come back to the heart of worship where it's all about you. When the music fades and all the strengths away and I simply come longing just to bring something that's the worth that will bless your heart. I'll bring you more than a song, for a song in itself is not what you have required. You search much deeper within through the way things appear. You're looking into my heart, Lord, I'm coming back to the heart of worship, where it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it Where it's all about you It's all about you, Jesus The Lord just shifted the atmosphere And I'm closing my eyes for guidance So give me a second Lord, what would you have me do in this moment? I'm going to read the scripture. Um, okay. I was going to read two scriptures, but now I'm only going to read the one. And it is, um, it is Zephaniah, um, chapter three.
And I'll read until he tells me to stop. That little ticking sound is just my computer. That's all. Okay. okay. So this is Zephaniah 3, um, taken from verse 1. It is the New International Version. Uh, it says, Woe to the city. Woe to the city of oppressors she uh rebe rebellious and defiant she does not trust in the lord she does not draw near to her god she, um her uh, officials uh, her officials within her are roar, roaring lions who leave nothing for the morning. Her prophets are unprincipled. They are treacherous people. Her priests are uh, profane the the sanctuary and do and do violence to the law the lord the lord within her is righteous morning by morning the I'm, I'm gonna skip okay um, I'm gonna stop here the Lord within her in her is righteous he does no wrong and then I'm gonna skip down to verse um 14 um there's more neg negative stuff about um the church and how it lays waste and how it um uh, is just really um gone to the dogs basically but in verse 14 it turns around It says, sing, daughter, Zion, shout aloud, Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, daughter, Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your punishment. The Lord, the King of Israel is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. Never again will you fear will you fear any harm. On that day they will say to Jerusalem the the mighty warrior who st Oh sorry I skipped your voice. On that day, they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear Zion. 
Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord, your God, is with you. The mighty warrior who saves you will take great delight in you. His love will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. I'll stop there. Um, I was going to read two, but the Lord said just read, read that one. Um, so, um, I was, I'm going to talk about the Divine Symphony. When you think of a symphony, a symphony has all this moving parts, all these moving instruments, and an instrument by itself doesn't sound as good. It sounds pretty, but a symphony together is a whole um, plethora of instruments. You have the string section, you have the brass section, you have the percussion session, you have all these different sessions and they come together to make a greater sound. The Lord wants me to say to you, He's changing the sound of your life. He's tweaking. He's um, mixing and mastering all the situations that you thought were evil, all the situations you thought were no good, all the situations that you thought were good and delightful. He's putting them all together to create a new song. And he would say, Beloved, fear not, I am creating a new song. Um, I'm going to, on second thought, I'm going to read um, next my original uh, first scripture that I was going to read. Because it illustrates this point really well about God creating a new song um, for, for us. Um, Okay. This scripture is taken from Psalms 40, verse 3. Um, it says, He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. This, this new song that he's creating is, is about to explode in your life. It's the tune, people that have known you for years are about to see what God has been doing in your life. People that have been laughing at you and jeering you and making fun of you are about to see what God has been doing in your life. I was watching, um, I was going to play this clip, but if I do, this video will be dreadfully long. It's already almost a half an hour long. Um, I'm, I'm just going to try my best to explain the clip. I'm not going to play it. Um, uh, Stephen Furtick is one of my favorite um, preachers, aside from my own man of God, Pastor Richard Brown. Um, um, and, and one day he did a wonderful illustration uh, where he got um, the organist to play three notes. The organist played some glad morning and um and then he, he he gave the organist instructions like go here play this do that and at the end of it it was a whole, whole new song it was i'll be watching you by sting um it was so cool 
I'll put the uh, I'll put the uh, video up and tell you where to find the illustration. It was so cool, and that's what the Lord is doing with us. At times, we can't see the song that God has created. Um, at times, what God is doing may seem stupid. I remember watching this clip with Stephen Furtick and thinking, what's he doing getting this guy to play all these strange notes? Go here, go, go there. And I now realize that he heard something that the rest of us couldn't hear. Now, if Stephen Furtick, a, a mere man, a pastor, can do that, how much more God? See, God is creating a, a new song in your life. He's taking all the negative, all the things that you thought were no good, and making something glorious about it. And he's taking all, all the minor notes and major notes um, and really doing something with your life. And all he's saying to do today is trust him and know that he's got your back and he's composing something beautiful. Um, I know, I, I've been a fan of music for ever. I love all kinds of music. I love different styles, different colors, different genres, uh, different ways of interpreting music. I love it all. Um, I even love to hear songs that I know in different languages. Um, so anyway. My love of music causes um, me to understand that every style of music has its benefits and its drawbacks. And sometimes, sometimes a style of music has a different purpose um, from another style of music. So when you want to go running on a treadmill, you don't put on Bach, you put on something like Kirk Franklin. Uh, you put on something up-tempo so you can run. Same thing with God. When he wants you to run, he will put on something. Uh, he will compose a song for you that will cause you to to run and, and go towards your destiny. When he wants you to slow down, he may bring a trial into your, he will bring a trial into your life just to tell you to slow down, to, to tell you to trust him. So he may change the song, but he has a whole symphony that he's composing. And one thing about the symphony is it's different parts. When you listen to a classical symphony, there are parts in the symphony that are quiet and mellow and soft, and there could be also parts that speed up and are loud. So all of the parts of your life are for a purpose, and they're working together for his glory. He, the purpose of a, any Christian's life is for God to get ultimate glory from your life. Is for people to see your life and see not you, not how good you are, not how good you dress, not how good your family is, but to see how go good God is. And he wants to do that with your life. And he wants to take you to places that you've never seen. So let him be the conductor of your life. Let him compose the music that he wants. Let him start with 
all fly away and then turn it into um, I'll be watching you. Let him uh, twist and turns and let him twist and turn the notes and add melody and add cadence and add harmony. Because sometimes the most awful parts of music when put with something else they sound so good my sister my oldest sister Sheila uh, used to like this band uh, like this uh, uh, mostly a cappella group called Take Six it used to drive my mom crazy because Take Six would sing in a lot of minor notes but when they would, it would sound so unique and beautiful. So God is using all the stuff that are minor, all the stuff that are you would throw away, all the stuff that doesn't sound good to others to make something of your life, to, to give himself glory through your life. Don't throw away the minor notes and, or the stuff that isn't good. Just know that he's working it out for his good. And ultimately, he will get the glory from your life. Um, well, well, she is, how is she? Be encouraged. He has not forgotten you. He is just adjusting things. He is just tweaking some notes. He is just changing some things around. And at the end, it will be a whole new symphony that people will stand by and go, What? I didn't know that he was doing it through your life. Just hold on, beloved. Don't give up. Your symphony is great. He is conducting your symphony to be one one heck of a ride you just have to hold on I know it's tough I know when people say that it seems kind of cliche but that's what he's telling me to tell you just hold on this beauty is coming for your ashes blessings are coming in your symphony the curses are going to be broken off your life and you will be stronger for whatever you're going through and the notes will turn out to be something beautiful god i pray that you will permeate every heart every spirit every soul with this word you've ordained this word and i bless you i praise you for what you're going to do what you've already done god I, I magnify you because you deserve to be magnified. I worship you because you deserve to be worshipped. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So guys, I will see you next week. Take care. And hold on for the beautiful symphony in your life. Don't give up in the middle where it looks dark. And where the notes look kind of off kilter. See the beauty in the minor notes. See the beauty in the notes that are kind of messed up. Don't sound right. He's just tweaking you through those things. Through those situations. Through those circumstances. To make something beautiful. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye. I will do a new thing in you. I will do a new thing. He's doing a new thing in your life. He's composing a whole new symphony 
and it will be so spectacular. Just hold on. He would say this. Hold on just a little while longer. These heavy burdens, they will soon pass over. Run the race and keep the faith in God's own time. Your turn will come. He's asking you to hold on. Hold on. Don't let go of him. I know it's tough. I know it's stressful. I know it's painful. But hold on. He's working it out. He's changing the notes. He's making a brand new symphony and a brand new life for you. Just hold on. He will use everything for his glory. The bad stuff, the good stuff, the ugly stuff, he's mixing it all together to make something wonderful. He's putting all the instruments of your life together to make something beautiful. Just hold on. Don't give up, beloved. Don't give up. Please don't give up. That's what he would say to you today. In God's own time, your change will come. Hold on just a little while longer. These heavy burdens, they will soon pass over. Run the race and keep the faith in God's own time. Your change will come. God bless you. I'm really signing off now. Bye.